Hello my beautiful Aries, this is your top secret cross watchers video. Watch in your own sign, watch your sun, moon, rising and Venus and find out what your love interest is thinking, feeling and intending with you. Aries, your person, the person's secret and this is the keeper of secrets, high priestess energy. Your person thinks of you first thing when they get up last thing as they go to bed they feel as though you're incredibly beautiful handsome good looking this person wants nothing more than to be able to close their eyes and curl up next to you your person is devoted to you you do have psychic energy there is a spiritual connection between the two of you the High Priestess is a very spiritual being. She operates in the purest of intentions, true love, pure love, open-hearted, but the keeper of secrets. So this is a person who doesn't talk a lot to other people about you, only maybe an inner circle core of friends, maybe one, but you have telepathic communication with this person. They send vibes out. You can feel their vibes. This is a beautiful card that is all about protecting the innocent, protecting that which is pure in your relationship. This person protects in their heart space. This is Cancerian energy. It's about nurturing. It is basically the virginal energy before we become the empress before we actually have a child. It really speaks to somebody who's fiercely loyal and actually doesn't know how to be any other way with you. The energy right now that we get is that your person feels in a heartbreak. It looks like the two of you are in separation either metaphorically speaking, meaning, you know, it's like when we live in a home with a lover and you're not getting along and there's no, there's no real talking or communication. You can be in separation with a person right next to you sleeping at night. But what I'm seeing here with these two cards is for most Aries, this person is, you know, they see you um, as somebody who's broken hearted. You know, well, you are broken hearted. That's the meaning of the card, Aries, that your person is broken hearted, that they are, that they suffer unduly and they hide their suffering. Nobody on the outside typically, except maybe again, one or two close friends would know this, but your person is really, really suffering. It feels like they have no idea whether your relationship will come into union or not. They have no idea what really caused the separation. The Three of Swords, we see this person lamenting. We see what looks like a fire that has encapsulated the landscape. This person feels as though the passion that you brought into their life has been stripped away and what used to be full of technicolor rainbows and flowers is now a dead zone, a vast morass of, of just torched landscape is how they feel in their heart space. Aries, your person is the Queen of Wands, which is actually Aries energy. So how they view you, this is really how they view you. They view you as this incredible, magical person. You look good, you, you are fantastic. You have a, a real magic, a charisma. Uh, there's something about you that's so compelling. This is a card of victory. It's a card of being successful, but she's here in this very beautiful, loving sort of yoga pose and it with candles gentle candles of enlightenment around her and it really tells us Aries that your person this is how this person views you you know they view you as um, someone who can make who appears out of the blue and creates a magical moment a time when they felt this passion this love this energy of excitement that the minute they would see you they would tingle so it's incredible energy Aries really incredible when we look at the where your person how they want to 
what they want to do in this moment. They want to rush towards you. They want to talk to you. They want, they would go anywhere, do anything to really, really come together with you. They feel also when we get the Knight of Swords energy, the Knight of Swords energy Aries means that this person is sort of so emotional and so uptight that they need to release the tension. They want to talk to you very badly. We see them, you know, they might even say things that they shouldn't say. Um, for a lot of you, Aries, this person is, you know, this is a very, very incredibly sweet person. But in, their, in some moments when they get frustrated because they feel the loss of you so intensely, they just want to tell you, like, why, 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 Aries? Why, why is this going on? Why do you seem, you know, so far away, so distant from me? I want to come to you, and yet, you know, your person can't come to you. The card that shows how they feel, Aries, about you is the Eight of Cups. Like, you left them behind. You know, you are dissatisfied. This is a feeling of abandonment, really. Your person feels as though you've abandoned them. That these two cards together really speak volumes about, you know, how your person feels at this moment. That they have this terrible heartbreak, this terrible empty space. It's like a vacuum or a tornado leveled the ground here. Look at this. Or like a fire, you know, a fire, a very passionate relationship burned and it burned, it burned the forest, you know, but we see that your person feels that you don't love them. They think that you just don't love them, that they weren't satisfying enough. This is their darkest, deepest hurt and pain. Um, you know, what we see here is much more charming. Look at this. Your person wants to do a little dance, get down tonight, get down tonight. <laughs> I'm a terrible singer. I hear Barry White in the background, you know, uh, sexual healing. Your person wants to make love. That would really be what br would bring the two of you back together again. This person is wild uh, about you. We see this wild horse, you know, sort of going up on its hind legs. It's like a mating ritual and your person could never have been happier than when the two of you were flirting, when you were playful, when you were having fun, when you were at dinner, when they were innuendos, when there were sexy texts. This person, it just made them feel alive and awakened and something perhaps because the night is a very youthful, energetic card, you made them feel something they hadn't felt in years, Aries. Your person the hidden energy is they're waiting for you to show up. They're looking out the window. They always have this feeling of picking up their phone, looking to see if you've texted, seeing if there's an email. They know that they have to go forward with their lives, which is really good. You know, what we see here is a very grounded, loving, beautiful person. If that is not how this resonates with you, it probably isn't your reading. And number two, you should go check Moon Rising and Venus. So I always want to make sure that when I hear so many comments, that people are like, no, this person did X, Y, and Z to me. That's not your reading then. This is not your reading. Your, your, you know, your experiences is, is what you're taking as your reading. Okay, Two of Wands, though, says that this person wants to plan a road trip with you. You know, a lot of fun. When we think of VW wagons, you know, in the 60s, it was like, oh, the California surfers with a surfboard on the side, you know, strapped to the top of the VW wagon. Your person wants to have adventures. They want to travel the world with you. They want to have this option. This person will do these things anyway with or without you, but it's so much lonelier without you. The Tower card. What Spirit is telling you, Aries, is that there will be a sudden rapid change in your relationship. That the time is coming when lightning strikes and instead of having something that burned to the ground, we see the bunnies and the squirrels and the butterflies. This is a tower moment. This is Scorpio energy. And in this card, it is a phoenix rising from the ashes. So spirit is saying, Aries, that your person is waiting with bated breath. I also see this, and I, as a professional reader, I see this all the time as a Uranus energy also. You know, and it really speaks to the fact that 
um, you will build a strong foundation. You don't have one right now. You don't have a structure to support the relationship. And Spirit is saying, build the structure. This person is incredibly valuable in your life. They will bring so much happiness, so much passion, so much support, so much love, and a sense of wonder a sense of wonder and a sense of beauty that even in the eye of the storm, nature is beautiful and so is your relationship. Your person is a warrior. They have their guard up, they're in a defensive posture, but this person is holding a vigil for you. They're waiting for you to show up. They're waiting for you to come to the door. They're waiting for you to... Okay. Your person is waiting patiently for you to come rushing towards them in a surprise moment so that they do not have to take a different direction with you. When we get this energy, when we get this energy of bat spirit, what we're seeing here, rebirth is assured. Oh my goodness. Remember, I just said that you need to have the foundation. It will come out of the blue Aries. This is energy that will come out of the blue, but you have to take action, Aries. You will have to take action. And what I'm seeing, Aries, I put you in the reading. I mean, I put your... Um, you in the reading also because I have Knight of Pentacles. The message here, the dark side or the hidden message in this reading is this is the El Goliath deck and it's a shadow deck. So your worst fear is that this may not happen. But realistically, what we're seeing is your person is plotting behind the scenes. The Knight of Pentacles is the night that it's the tur it's the fable of the tortoise and the hare. Your person will come to you. They will win the race. Look at it's this is pages or you know knights are thought of as very young people. But in this particular instance, we sort of see someone who looks like the forty-year-old teacher who looks at you over their glasses and says, "Do your homework. Do your homework. Do your work." Focus on what needs to be focused on right now. I'm doing what I need to do, and I know I'm coming to you very slowly, but I am coming. You have to have confidence. See these wings? I can fly when these wings are ready to take off. This person has a dream catcher. This person has a pentacle. This is Virgo energy every single day, every single way. They are plotting and planning their entire life to include you. Aries, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me how you like the video and tell me where you're from.